Happy 2012, everyone! I'm here, even though my voice is very crappy and the video quality is very crappy. I'm sorry, my iMac went kaput a couple weeks ago and it's still in the shop. So I'm here on my trusty MacBook Pro, which many of you might remember if you watched my oldest videos. And I have a cold, a pretty bad one, and so my voice is like crap. But I made a commitment to myself, and so I must make a video. Those of you who follow me on Facebook or on my blog would have seen that I made a decision to do 52 videos in the year of 2012, which means one video per week. I may do more as I get more into it, but right now that's enough of a commitment because <laughs> if you're not doing videos, it's pretty, I'm like actually hyped up and kind of nervous because anytime I take a couple months away, it's really hard to get back into the rhythm. So here we go. Here we go. All right. So my life, what has been happening? What's happening with Shanti? Well, in 2011, it was like my whole life and my identity exploded, and I've been trying to figure out what pieces I want to take back and put together. And somehow, going back to Seattle for Christmas just recently sort of finally gave me the meshing glue to get everything back together, and I feel this buoyancy of spirit that I haven't felt in a long time. Um, some bad stuff happened last year. Um, you could call it bad. I'm not going to label it necessarily. But like moving to Texas and having the land totally taken away right after it was given to me as a gift, that was really hard. And um, living here in Texas has not been the most amazing. I mean, it's been fine, but I don't like it here. Um, if I was on 50 acres of land, I'm sure I would like it just fine. But as it is, living in this crappy apartment in the crappy town, nowhere, Texas, it's kind of disheartening. And on top of that, I've made a couple futile attempts to come back to YouTube over the course of the year, only to have each one crash and burn. One was the, um, what, what do we call the, this handcrafted nature adventure, nature situation, I couldn't even remember the name. That was only two videos because then, of course, we weren't actually doing the project that those videos were for. I tried doing the accountability challenge with Jason, which fell apart because he and I had an argument. It's fine now, but at the time, I did not want to continue. And uh, so it's just sort of been like the whole year has been a random kind of getting it together and then sort of falling apart and kind of getting it together and sort of falling apart. Maddie's going bonkers, I'm sorry. And so even with exercise, I've had a real difficulty getting into any routine for a long period of time. For like a month or two, I might do some yoga, I might try and walk, I might just try and not be so sedentary and move around the house more. But none of that is sticking. And I've just been totally at odds with myself because this is not who I am. I, as far as I know, if I have to define who I am, who I've been in my whole life has been somebody who makes a goal and freaking sticks to it until she gets there. And with just the craziness of this last year, I feel like I haven't been able to stick to anything. It's been very disappointing. Uh-oh. Yay! She wants to eat the butter, but we noticed her eating it, so it's not there. Okay, so 2012, here we are rolling into the new year. If you um, follow on Facebook or my blog as well, you would also have noticed that I'm moving to Oregon because I'm not so thrilled with Texas, and if I'm not going to be living on land, I don't actually really want to live here much. It just makes more sense to move, and I miss the Northwest, and Oregon, just sort of after searching literally the whole country, Corey and I were researching for months, we decided that Oregon was nicely in between Seattle and Orange County, which is our two families' sort of core cities. And then also, it's a beautiful area. So we're moving to Ashland, Oregon in February. And I still sort of feel like I'm trapped in this box. I just want to go now, but we don't really quite have the money yet. I have to save a bit more before we can move. And all this energy is just sort of shaking around me. I want to move, I want to be better, and I want to finally take care of myself. So that's why I decided to make videos, and here I am. Um, gosh, my voice sounds terrible. So the video goal, it's not a New Year's resolution. I mean, you could call it that, but I'm just over resolutions. I have made a lot of them in my life, and some of them I've really stuck to. Losing weight was an awesome one. but. Um, a lot of them I've just sort of disregarded. So this year I'm not doing resolutions. I'm just making a commitment to myself, and that commitment is to health. Since the failed accountability challenge with Jason, I've gained 10, 15 pounds. I'm now about 185 pounds. I will not be weighing regularly. I do like the idea of weighing regularly and showing my body regularly, which I might get into later this year. But right now, I'm just going to say, I mean, I'm sort of normal-sized but heavier. I'm definitely too heavy for my height, and I would like to change that. 
And I'm also kind of in between healthy and not healthy. I'm not eating vegan. I'm eating far more vegetarian now than I was before Christmas. And I'm sort of just trying to ease myself into, okay, let's eat more fruits and vegetables. Let's eat whole grains. Let's not eat so much crap. You know, just slowly walking the path back toward health as opposed to toward obesity, which is kind of the path I've been on the last couple months. What the fuck? So, anyway, um, my commitment is just to health, and the videos are part of my own accountability to myself. They're not going to be big productions, as you can tell, it's shitty camera, shitty lighting, just me talking with my shitty voice, but it is a very good way to keep myself accountable, especially to all of you, of which there are now over 23,000, which blows my mind. I hope you enjoy watching my crappy ramblings in my V2L shirt. Um, there are other things I was going to say, let's see. Oh, so I am not going to be weighing regularly, but I will weigh. Um, I probably won't weigh until like March or April after we're settled in Oregon. We're moving at the end of February, hopefully. Um, and then, you know, maybe a couple months after that, maybe a couple months after that. So that's it. I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing and why I'm here. And I should say one thing, which was very profound for me and which helped me get into this mindset, is I've been feeling really down on myself. Most of my clothes fit me from about 160 to 170 pounds, my current wardrobe. And so going up to 185, I've had to pull out a whole bunch of my old wardrobe, which thankfully I saved to use as cloth and sewing projects and stuff. Now I'm not altering and sewing these things. I'm just keeping them as normal clothes because they're the only things that fit me right now. So I've been feeling really down about that. And I went to Seattle with all my like old wardrobe and my old body, if you will, because I'm at my high school weight. And this horrible, like, cloudy mindset of, I'm just failing, and nobody's going to think I'm beautiful. And then I went and hung out, the first day I was back, went and hung out with my great friend Marin, who I hadn't seen in, like, two years. And she was like, oh my god, you look great! And I was like, what? And she said, no, honestly, I believe you look like the ideal weight for your height. Which just blows my mind, because I feel like there's quite a bit of tummy fat going on, I could shrink up a bit and still be really healthy, not be super skinny, you know? But her opinion was that I looked fine and that I looked lovely. And that really made a switch go off in my brain, like, oh, I don't have to be skinny. And I know that I know this and I preach this. It's not about the body. It's not about fitting a dress size. It's about being healthy. But something about her saying that helped me accept where I am right now and want to move forward. So here I am. Happy 2012. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and New Year's, and I would love to hear what you're doing. Uh, it really inspires me to hear what other people are doing to make positive changes in their life. So if you make resolutions, let me know your resolutions. And if you don't and you're just making goals or you have some really good priorities in your life, I'd love to hear about them. My goal is just to be healthy and also to move to Oregon and start a new life there instead of here in Texas. Take care. I'll see you next week. Every week I'm making a video, so I'll see you next week.